here we are. I'm with Ruth here at her beautiful flat in Hackneywick, um, overlooking the canal. Morning. Morning. On a Sunday morning. It's the afternoon now. Uh, so, um, Ruth was taught by Gemma. Was That's Gemma right. your teacher? Gemma, okay. yes. So, we're here to, to, I'm here to just hear about your TM journey. How did you, how did you come to learn? Like, what, what led you to it in the first place? Were you looking for something specific? Or did you just see a random advert? Or did someone recommend okay. you? How did you? How did you hear about it right at the beginning? Well, if I go, if I go way back, yeah. way, way back, um, I've always sort of enjoyed meditation. Yeah. I will, I will go even further back than that. I, from school, I was like a big fan of gymnastics. I was very good at it. Um, so much so that my teacher wanted me to go to like gymnastics school and my dad said no and that's another story but I love gymnastics and then I sort of in my adulthood I discovered yoga and I thought then I thought wow this is just gymnastics for adults and I absolutely loved it and then sort of yoga and meditation kind of went hand in hand but I was good at yoga I enjoyed yoga and I sort of saw the benefits that it was getting me but then when it came to the meditation part I just didn't get it I w- didn't was was get there it. a meditation when you were doing yoga, like at the end of the class? Yeah, that kind of thing? yeah, and I I wanted to discover a bit more about meditation and different techniques, and I just didn't understand what I was doing, to be honest. Sure, okay. And back then, I would always say that I have to clear my mind in uh, meditation. Yeah, the old uh, the old yeah. chestnut, the old <laughs> chestnut, that one. So it was frustrating, okay. and I just didn't understand what it was. I couldn't get to grips with it. And so I kind of left it on the sort of the side. I enjoyed my yoga, wanted to be more healthy and fit. And then I, I sort of um, went back into this meditation thing and I started doing my own thing because I just thought, I've got a special gift. I can do this myself. DIY? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my own DIY stuff. And, and, I, and I did have some really good experiences. I didn't know what they were. And so I would always question like, the kind of meditation I was doing, it was very visual. So I'll just have the deep breath going, get myself into like a real centered position. And I just suddenly started to visualize all these lights. And okay. it was like a performance of okay. light show. And I became really addicted to it. Okay. And I'd like have the expectation that every meditation is going to be this performance show. And so um, I got myself into a bit of a loop. <laughs> so I kind of stopped doing that because it felt like I was quite addicted to it uh-huh. and the expectation. And when it didn't happen, I got frustrated if this particular meditation wasn't as good as last week. So what am I doing wrong this time? Ah, okay. Sort of that high expectation. So um, I just sort of quit. And there was always that in the back of my mind. Mm. And then one day I was scrolling. Unfinished business. Unfinished business. Okay. And I would always want to know the answers to things it's like I keep questioning well why does that happen why did I see the light that day and not that day and so um I was scrolling through my phone on Instagram just randomly and then I saw a post for TM and I saw Gemma she was doing like a little talk and I I actually stopped because I thought I knew her she I recognized her from somewhere but I didn't know her but she just gravitated towards me and I thought what is this trans I couldn't even say the word transcendental meditation what is this thing I had no idea about it luckily the the technique is not as complicated (laughs) as the name (laughs) it took me a while to get the name out yeah so um yeah I just thought what is this I kind of I did hear the name but I didn't really sort of dive into it so I had no idea what this was all about and so I thought I'm gonna contact this Gemma lady and so I did and we had the chat and then it just sort of stemmed from there and that was like back in May 2020. So you you did the TM course with Gemma? I did yes. And that was two years ago? Yeah. And what did you notice straight away? Did you notice anything straight away or did was it a slow slow change? Well I'll say when I did the course, it was four days, yeah. which I thought was a good time, a length of time. Okay. It wasn't too much and it wasn't too intense. But I think because the way it was structured and the content, 
I became really engaged with it. Mm. And because the content, like I said, was engaging, you had Dr. Tony Nader yep. going through the content, you really wanted to just do it. So I completed my two hour sort of um, work beforehand. And then afterwards you'd have a one-to-one -one with Gemma. Okay. And then you have a group meditation and you'll talk about what you learned on the course. So yeah. I was like the star pupil saying, yes, I've looked at my content. <laughs> You were a teacher's I, pet. I was so eager, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it was really, really engaging. So the course itself, I think what it did for me is that I don't know how, but like I said, I kept asking questions. Like, well, why is this happening? To why yourself? is that? Yeah, oh, like to myself. Big life questions. Yeah. Okay. And always sort of questioning when I meditate, well, what does that mean? And then doing this course, it kind of just naturally stop me asking those questions uh, and that was that was huge for me so, so do you mean that you had a lot of doubts about meditating and about what it should look like and whether you were doing it right yeah and by doing the course those questions were answered it was it wasn't so much that all my questions were answered I think what it was was the fact that when you look at and I think this was part of the course that they did mention this and don't mm -hmm. quote me on this but we're like looking at sort of the um the intellect of the mind uh -huh. and the intellect of nature and sort of it's uncomparable in the sense that you just let nature take its course gotcha okay so you you an acceptance kind of, yeah you stopped interfering so much yeah oh, okay yeah because like i really because i really thought that like okay my mind can't fathom what the universe is doing okay. to me okay. or what's so happening there's a limit in the world. to what you can possibly yes. okay yeah and i think before i was wanted to know the answers gotcha. to the whole universe oh, and everything else and it really frustrated me because these things were happening like you have certain sensations in your body you see certain lights when you meditate what does it all mean where mm. am i going I just wanted to know, but okay. I think when I started this course and I started to understand that some things just aren't sort of answerable They're to my answerable. brain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and okay, so what difference did that make to your life? Like, so since mm. you meditated in the last two years, obviously there's doing the meditation, but then there's like, did it affect your daily life in some way yeah. did you notice yeah. any benefits yeah what did you notice <laughs> uh, well because um i've got like a sort of a was it an addictive nature okay. slightly ocd yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 wanting yeah. to know <laughs> questions all those kind of things and i just had that idea of letting go you know that old oh, cliche of letting go oh you mean in meditation or in no, life no in life in life and I, I would like hold on to a lot of things and I would sort of stress myself out about things, ah, okay. giving myself anxiety about things, trying to change other people because I wanted it done my way and just realizing that no, just ah. let it go. And that was huge. Whoa, that's really cool. That so, was huge. So it sounds like you, instead of kind of grasping it, things and places and people and experiences and you became life became more harmonious mm. that, because you grasped less mm. is that right yeah that's the good okay. way of putting it okay i grasp less and then sort of focus on things that i can control mm. that's you know you you hear about those things previously you know only control what you can control and don't control other people right but sort of putting it into practice is another thing okay good so that that was that's a pretty fundamental mm. kind of shift because mm. um, mm. I imagine that would decrease your kind of stress levels in all ways in all ways yeah okay. yeah I'm not saying that I am perfect and I don't get any stress because I do mm. I do I have a stressful job I've got like family stuff going on mm. but um it's knowing how to handle it better finding that like certain things don't trigger me as much as they used to and you have that awareness yeah yeah which i perhaps didn't have i, I would like to say that i was quite aware of what's going on but it, it's more noticeable and i could sort of say okay just is this worth 
me getting upset about. It's yeah, just yeah. worth me stressing and trying to do as much as I can to get things right. So, so you became, um, sorry, I feel like I'm putting words in your mouth. Do you, would you say you became less reactive to, to, to things? Less, is that, is that the right word or? Mm, less reactive. I would say, yeah, I guess like less reactive, but I would say more of, um, what's, what am I looking for? I wouldn't sort of like take things personally as much. Okay. Because I feel like, like for example, if I wanted to help someone doing something and they weren't quite doing it the way I wanted to do it, and I think, well, was it something that I've said? It's something that I'm doing wrong. I'm trying to help you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That kind of thing. Well, I'm thinking, no, that's what they want to do, and that's how they do it. I should respect that. Okay. And it's not anything to do with what I'm doing yeah. wrong, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, I guess less reactive, not sort of worrying about what other people are thinking. Mm. All those things are sort of plays into it. So it just gives me a better awareness of, um, just let it go. Let it In go. your own words, what does it feel like to do transcendental meditation? Just a, just a little couple mm. of sentences. What does it feel like to meditate? It's, it's very hard to explain or to articulate. Um, I would say initially it's very restful. I feel very peaceful. But then I don't have expectations. Mm -hmm. So I could have meditations where I'm just constantly thinking about things. And I accept that it comes in and then it goes naturally. So for me, that experience in itself is really sort of liberating and free. You're kind of you're kind of in control, mm -hmm. but not in control. It's, it's it's a weird sort of juxtaposition that you've got. But what I really love about it is that you have days where you sort of dip into this state of nothingness, and you even sort of everything stops. And it doesn't happen all the time. It doesn't happen for me personally for a long time. But there's like moments where I just don't hear anything. I don't even like have a breath. And it's only until I kind of realize, oh, I've got to breathe. And then I, I can recognize my breath again. But having like those moments that you dip in and out, that's something I've never experienced before. How different, how different would you, do you think your life would be if you hadn't learned TM a couple of years ago? <sighs> have a lot of stress definitely um more gray hair <laughs> i say more because i've already got gray hair but more gray hair um i just think generally just like what stress can do to the body and it would be like a knock-on effect a lot of sleep deprivation because i find that i do get a lot of restful sleep i could do with some more sleep i just love sleep um but when I meditate, there are times where I just feel really refreshed afterwards. And if I keep up my practice, which I have been doing, there have been like periods where I haven't done any meditation, but there's always something in the back of your mind thinking, hello, you've got to go meditate. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I love about it is that you can sort of have those moments where you don't meditate, but then there's no one like saying, why haven't you done your meditation? So that you don't have that pressure. Yeah. And because I'm very much, um, I mentioned about, I've got like OCD and I like mm -hmm. to do things in a certain way. Um, in a weird way, this is like my control of how I do my practice. And because it's showing such benefits, it's something that you want to keep doing. Yeah, yeah. Naturally. Yeah. So I think Proof that- the pudding's in the eating. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think for me, because I've seen the difference, um, I think that if I didn't do it, which I have been pierced where I haven't done it, I do notice that I am sort of like a bit more agitated. Gotcha. Um, I kind of feel like I'm going back into a cycle that I could remember previously. And I think, okay, I'm aware of that. And it's just knowing that difference. Mm hmm and it's, it's, it's really helped me. So I think um, if I hadn't have done it, I would have been 
probably stressing and complaining, making people's lives a misery around me. Yeah. If you could sum up your entire experience of TM in five words, what would they be? Effortless, Effortless. meditation at your own pace. Oh, it doesn't have to be a sentence. <laughs> it could be just five unconnected words. Oh, right, okay. No, like, oh, no, it's not like a massive challenge. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so it could be something like, I don't know, uh, blissful or peaceful or whatever, enlivening. I'll say... Five words. Oh, <laughs> I would say um, super easy, effortless, blissful, enlightening. Hang on a minute. Super I'll, I'll... easy is two words. <laughs> <Cheating>. <laughs> Do it again. Super okay. easy. We'll, are we counting that Super as one word? Super easy. That could be one word. Okay, hyphenated. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Super easy. Super easy. New word. Yeah. Ruth's dictionary. Um, <laughs> effortless. Yeah. I would say life changing. Life changing. Is that another one word? Yeah. Hyphenated. <laughs> you got two hyphenated. You only get two hyphenated. Life changing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Go on, you can give me that one. I'm being... I might think... I, I can't think of other two now. Um, did I say blissful? Yeah, I don't know. I'll say blissful. <laughs> and I would say... <laughs> Silent? <laughs> Silence. Silence. Yeah, there there you go. Go. It, it showed us. Silence. It showed us. Yeah. So I'm just going to recap because I got a bit lost here. So, so we've got um, <laughs> life changing. Yes. I'm doing the hyphenated first. So life changing was the first one. What was the other hyphenated? One? I don't know. Everlasting. No. Life changing. Life changing. Blissful. Super easy. Super easy. Peaceful. I can't remember. Oh, that'll do. And the last one, silence. Silence. Yeah. Okay. I think that's a really good one, actually, yeah, because silence. you enjoy the silence. Yeah. Isn't there a song? It is. Yeah. Depeche Mode. Yeah. Amazing you song. enjoy the silence. <laughs> yeah. And you really do. Okay. Yeah. Um, any last words for our viewers? For our viewers, for those who are thinking about. Yeah, for those who are thinking. Um, I will say do it. Definitely. You've got nothing to lose. Okay. You have a fee. But I see that fee as an investment. And if you're like me, you were like searching and you're going on different retreats and you have all these different counseling sessions as well, that's a huge cost. And I think for me, I don't even want to think about the amount of money I've spent previously on different things that it were good. I'm not saying it wasn't, but I think for what I've got now, I definitely say that was worth it and it was a fraction of the cost. So. Amazing. Go for it. Go for it. Did you hear that? Wise words from Ruth of Hackney. Ruth of <laughs> Hackney. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>